Fifth, we make solid progress in poverty alleviation and rural revitalization, move closer to completing the task of building a moderately prosperous society. We we'll continue to prioritize the development of agriculture in rural areas, strengthen poverty alleviation and rural revitalization, ensure that the, the goals are achieved and rural living standards are increased. We will beat poverty with precision elevation. We give priority to our work of seeing that basic living needs for rural population are met and that such people have access to compulsory education fix medical service and housing will intensify poverty alleviation areas uh, of extreme poverty and ensure social safeguards. Eradicating poverty and achieving prosperity cannot be achieved without the support of industries. We will support impoverished areas in developing business and leverage local strengths, launch initiatives to address school dropout rates and achieve reduction in rural students' dropout rates in poor areas. We will continue to increase the size of special enrollment quota at key university for students for rural and poor areas and make use of fundamental rural education to support poverty from being passed on to the next generation. We we'll move towards completion of the 13 5 year plan construction task and planned relocating of poor people in inhospitable areas. Support policy and supply to countries and populations have recently been left out of poverty. We maintain for a period of consolidated period in poverty alleviation. We improve the evaluation oversight and ensure that result in inspection and poverty alleviation by central government inspection team serve their intended purpose. The further we get in the cru crucial stage, the greater the need in every aspect of our work to tackle these problems. In order to stand the test of time, we improve agriculture, particularly grain production. We must ensure through our efforts food supply for close to 1.4 billion people of China. To this end, we will keep gain support output stable and increase the area of high stand cropland by no less than 5.33 million hectares, ensure that production of hogs and other type of livestock, and keep diseases like African swine fever under control. We will speed up reform and innovation in agricultural technologies, develop modern seed industry, implement programs to protect agricultural products with the uh, graphical indications and advanced mechanisms. We will foster new types of agriculture business such as family farms and farm cooperatives, improve commercial services catering to small agricultural households and develop a diverse range of agricultural cooperation. We will support people who are returning to move to the countryside to start business and pursue innovation and promote the development of the primary, secondary, and tertiary industries. Income must be increased in rural areas and must address the root wage of appear owned to rural migrant workers, act fast to draw up government regulations specifically with this aim. We will take solid steps to upgrade rural infrastructure. We will adopt sound development and significantly improve living and working conditions. Implement will be accelerated programs to consolidate and build on progress already made, improving safe drinking water in rural areas. Remaining problems of poor access to safe drinking water will be resolved in two years, and additional 60 million rural residents will have access to safe drinking water. New round of rural power grid upgrading will be completed and work to improve rural living environment in light of local conditions, making progress in toilet revolution, improve garbage and sewage treatment. We will deepen comprehensive rural reform. We will expand the use of practice proven successful through trials and uh, rural land requisition, market rural collective land development purposes, and reform the system and the rural residential land, given reform relating to collective property rights, pro property rights and the state forestry will reform and improve the agricultural protection and support system, refine a market-based pricing mechanism for grains, and rural reform will be deepened. All these efforts will surely inject new vitality in China's vast countryside.